Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Friday fun edition, a fun Friday edition of JC3D. Today we're going to 3D model a Game of Thrones sword. Um, the person who requested this, I'll get you that name in one second here. This is a, a request. We wanted to do the whole throne, but it's just like a gazillion of these swords. So, I figured rather than cower away in fear, I might as well just try to do one of them and see what happens. So if you click on the link in the description below, you can get this very scene right here. And the gentleman's name who requested this is Idahosa Wilfred. So Idahosa Wilfred, thank you very much. And here we go. This little sword looked kind of cool on there. This is off to the right side of the throne. So, let's see. I'm just going to start on uh, what I see first here, this little sword shape here. So, how do I want to do it? I think I'm going to go with the old polygon pen. Here. We'll just start to... Let's see. Start down here. I'm going to do about like half of this because I'll mirror it. If I want to see these polygons, I can just click on the shading right here. I'll go in half after and straighten those guys up there. So I'm just trying to get the blade that's underneath it. Well, fun Friday. Did anybody uh, this week do the Adobe Max uh, classes? I don't know what you call it, presentations. I signed up for a couple of them, learned some kind of interesting things like, uh, well, I learned that you can make 3D models in Illustrator. You can take, say, like a silhouette of a pillow, and then you can inflate that. So you literally just have a, a spline. Click a button and you've got a 3D model. And you can export it as an OBJ. And a guy like me might import it into uh, Cinema 4D, for example. Then you can take it from there. Or you can go into Substance. I've been trying to use Substance more and more. Substance uh, lets me create textures like, you know, this blade right here. Might be a pretty good thing to do in uh, Substance. But I'm a, I'm a novice, so when I get in there, I stare at the screen for a while until I try to figure out what I'm doing. But it's a great program. Let's see. Going down here. Okay, so... Let's just go ahead and mirror that. What the heck? Like this. So the guide's not perfect. Um, you know, you have a lot of like camera lens warpage and then this thing's a 3D sculpt. So who knows the sword might not even be straight, but I can kind of mess around with this a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to take all this right here and zero this out. All the points right here. I'm just going to go zero. You get the coordinates right down here. And I want to go on the x-axis, so I'm just going to take this one and zero it out. Boom. Did that work? Hmm. That's weird. Not sure why that's not letting me do that. Does it think I'm in polygon pen mode? Hang on. Hold the fort here. Do, 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 do. Another way to do it is just go to the scale tool here, hold this, and hit shift. Oh, here's the culprit. The axis tool. So back the way I was going to do it, you just go like this. Zero. Boom. Then you can move it to the zero spot. Boom. Then I'm going to select invert like this. And just kind of move this stuff out a little bit. Just like that. And now maybe I'll move my guide over. Just like that. Mirror this. Perhaps. Let's see. We'll go with that. Close enough for government work. Maybe, well, maybe I gotta make a couple little tweaks up there up top. Let's see. 
it does look like it gets a little bit skinnier. That's the problem with the um the guides there. They get they're a little bit warped out, so you gotta kinda find like a sweet spot. I can rotate it. Sort of going up and down the thing here. Maybe a little bit over this way, a smidgen. Okay, let's see if that good more luck with that. Alrighty. It's a little doohickey here. Might as well just do this. Scale that flat. This guy wants to join him. Join the force. Okay. No, if I had some cuts here, I might be able to get this thing to stick out some more. So let's see. But do I want to do that right now? Um, the thing I'm thinking about is I'm going to move this piece out, make it thicker here. But let's just see what happens. So go here. And then what we're going to do is... Do, 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 do. <laughs> Up here to cut, loop path, cut tool like this. So you just hover over this guy here. When I, when I get it closer to this guy, it's going to go from this round to this point. I just didn't do that a couple of times. Over. And over. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Let's just check this out real quick. Something screwed up there. So you see that? I'm going to right click and say uh, weld. Like that. And we'll go back in there and continue on. There's a little disturbance in the force right there. Oh, whoop, wrong movie. All right. Boom. Loop path cut tool. Boom. Oh. And then this guy, I don't know if he needs one, but we're going to give him one. Oh. This is looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Looking sharp. Now, if we just select them. Um, I don't think I wouldn't necessarily want to do it. Well, maybe I do want to do it here. Let's just select all these. Go for the top view. I was thinking of pushing it out like that. Well, what do you think of that? Looks pretty cool. Let's see the backsides in there like that, so we can introduce a uh, symmetry. Introduce a fancy way of saying add. Where is it? Um, <laughs> introduce. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Okay, here we go. Symmetry. Boom. Put that symmetry there into that symmetry there. Oh no, what happened? Well, you don't have it on the right mirror plane. Boom. There you go. All right. There we go. This is looking all right. Now, let's see. Maybe I want to make it a little skinnier. Yeah, there's a band name for you. Super Grover. That was actually a band when I was a kid. Like high school band. Super Grover. Kind of cool. These little points here could get part pulled out more. Do, 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 do. How's that look, kids? Maybe these two. La -dee -da -dee -da. Okay. I'm going to turn this x ray off right here at the moment. Where is Right there. Then I can just see it a little bit better. La 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 la. Okay. Looks like it wants to be a little wider right here. I don't know. Let's go in here and do 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 do. Let's find these points right there and just wind that out or what is that? A broad blade. No, I don't know if this is a broad blade. I guess this is not a broad blade. This is a cool one, though. Well, let's see. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now it's just a little doohickey. So, what's that like this piece here? Just zip it around a circle. Well, this one looks a little different than this one. Maybe I don't know if I did these. 
three of them? Well, they all look a little different, I guess. Hmm. Well, seeing as they're all different, I guess the thing to do would just be to, to trace it out. Let's go for it. And you can actually use a, um, what the heck is it? A Wacom tablet for this. I'm just going to pull my Wacom tablet out. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Little pen, little Wacom pen here. And then as I move this around, it'll activate that. Okay, let me just undo this. Now, let's see. So you can go over here. You can do like a little sketch, I think. All right, and then we'll see like how lucky I get here. Sketching away. Boom. Now, uh, maybe I want to click here and make it a new one. I don't know. I'm just going to do it like that. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Just clicking over here so when I do it again, it makes a new spawn. Yeah, you can do this with a mouse, but you you know you'd be kind of clicking around quite a bit. You got something like this. Just grab that old Wacom. Going on a ride here. Whoa. Oops. I came out there a little bit. Nobody really know, right? You can always go move it after. Real non linear. Look at that. There we are. Boom. Just kind of zipping around here. I'm going to take forever. Forever and ever. All right. Going on here around the horn. <laughs> okay, looks like I made it around. All right, yeah, close enough for coming. There's a couple more down here. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't guess you can't do that with this. Okay, pinch it. All right. I'm out of the tool. All right, we'll call it that. So we got a bunch of those. Now I gotta go in here and just close them all. So let's see. Boom and boom. And what are we doing here? Closing the splines. Closed or not? To be closed or not to be closed? Okay, so now what do we got here? We got this shape that's kind of like a cylinder. I'm going to grab a cylinder. Bring it up here. Squish it down a little bit. That's rotate, but I want to squish it down here or something like that. Put some beveling, filleting there. Let's try that. Up in the crow's nest. Kind of seems like it's bent over here. I don't know. I'm just going to move it over right now. Okay, so let's see what my next move is going to be here. Got all these guys. Group them. Well, no, we'll group them. I'm going to put them underneath. The... Let's just try doing this first. See if this works. Might. Extruding, extruding this a little bit here. I'll just take this and move it back so it goes through it. 
Uh oh. Look like they're all quite registering. Well, let's see what the deal is here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what? Might be going backwards. Let's see. Sometimes that happens. Try this guy here so we can see what's going on. No, we're not going backwards. What exactly is going on with this? Oh, you know what? I think it's because you got to click hierarchy right here. Boom. Okay. There we go. That'll let us do it. Well, this one here sure is shooting off funny. <laughs> Which one are you? You. Come with me. Isn't that funny? Boom. Who put the boom in the bump? Boom, boom. Let's see. Auto. Auto's not working out too well. Is it? It's all screwed up. Okay, that seems like that's gonna go. I'm gonna like, you know. Mm hmm. Group those and this. And then, you know what? I'm just gonna save my scene here. I'm going in. I'm gonna grab a Boolean. Grab that and that and that. And boom. See what that does. I switch them around here like that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, one of my favorite thing to do is use the connector. One day I did this, and I was like, oh, my God, this is a real secret. And then let's do a remesher. Boom. A Boolean, a connector, and a remesher. Walk into a bar. That's a t-shirt for you, Maxon. A Boolean, a Connect, and a Remesh walk into a bar. Maxon Cinema 4D. All right, look at that. Now, I want to get rid of what's inside. <laughs> so I'm going to copy this. Boom. Shrink it down a little bit. Like that. And then, what do I do? What do I do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save incremental. So I'm going to save the scene, save incremental. That way I can always go back to this. Try something risky here. Select children, current state object, and boom. They're gone. But the remnants remain, I think. Do, 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 do. Spinning wheel. Keep bones together. Okay. Now. So what I was trying to do is just cut that inside out, right? So I'm going to go, um, this must be a cheap ki kingdom because of hollow brass swords. <laughs> Let's see, going to go back to my boolean. Put these two under it. Whoops. And there we go. I like that. All right, and then that takes it out of there. There's that little doohickey. No. Let's see. I'm just gonna put all this stuff underneath like uh you know like this. Take a look at this guy here. And let's make this. Looks to me kind of like a cube at the top here. So you should just start with something that looks like, scale it down. Then you got that work there done for you. Boom like that. No, I'm just taking another look at this. Uh, this one. <laughs> Same. Hot key D. Coming in hot. We're coming. <laughs> to rotate this. Scale it out. Rotate this and scale it out. <laughs> and zero it. Oh, I guess we can't zero it. All right, so here we go. Just fudge it like that. And then let's see what I want to do next. Um, should I just... Perhaps... Hey, anybody ever read that Dave Grohl book that he put out? I am just started to read it. 
Dave Grohl. Any any time you want to sponsor the channel, I'll talk about Foo Fighters at the beginning. It'd be great. You know, it could be a new way to spread the music around. You heard the new Foo Fighters song? About to break it on this channel right here. All 1,200 subscribers about to get the next Dave Grohl sensation. Tune in tonight. That would be great, wouldn't it? It'd be great. To, it'd be great to just pop in like Santa Claus. Hey, hey, hey. Then the person's YouTube channel has about two million followers. Hey, Santa, it's, it's really nice being one of your elves. Thanks for swinging by. Dave Grohl rocks off in a Santa Claus thing, like uh, oh, what's that actor's name there? Play Santa Claus. Ah, oh, yeah, it'd be a great Christmas one. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Then he becomes the pick of destiny devil. All right, going down the horn here. Feeling fine, feeling fine. Okay, I'm going to go here. Zero this out. But you see how this is all screwed up? If you click here, it'll straighten that out. And go like that. Jeez, yeah, why is that so off? Anyway, I can just do it like this. Boom. Many ways to skin the cat here. Cinema 4D. So, what am I trying to do next here? Let's see. Delete these. Because we don't need these. When I'm it's hard to see them from that view, but if you get in here. When you go out of symmetry like this. You don't really want those in there. You kind of want to kind of get it close like that and delete them. Then it fuses it all together. Especially with this, you can turn it up. Point oh five. Okay. All right, let's see. Da -da 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 Jeez, I don't know what to do. Put a bevel on it, but then it's going to look funny there. Let me see what it looks like underneath this hypernerb real quick, this subdivision surface. That really dates you, by the way, if you, if you call that a hypernerb. <laughs> I don't know how long ago they changed that to subdivision surface. Much better term. We'd always thought that. Hypernerb should be called subdivision surface. When will they see the light at Maxon? All right, let's see. Current state to object. Connect object, change, delete. There we go. So then what am I even trying to do here? I'm going to go like this. You know, one trick you could do is perhaps we could try to subdivide this. I'm going to add some points to it with a subdivision and go OK. That's be all right. It's not too bad, right? Now if I bring this stuff back. How are we looking? Looks like we're getting there. All right, so we're just we're just playing around, having fun. No, look at that. It goes. So one way I can think of to make this it might be kind of cool is um, just draw a spline right here. Get yourself into spline mode. And just follow that. Follow that right down. Oh, thank you. Oh, and look, it's Santa Claus. It's a Christmas miracle. And it's Dave Grohl's face. Did he put these out? Oh, no, it's Coca-Cola. Wait a minute, who invented Coca-Cola? Did Santa Claus invent Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola invent Santa Claus? I forgot how it goes. Hmm. Probably that Santa Claus invented Coca-Cola. Surely, kids, that's the way it goes. No American corporation invented Santa Claus. <laughs> I mean, that would just be weird. And we all do it every year for Coca-Cola? I mean, that would be, there would be, be people laughing all the way to the bank if that were true. Oh, society would shift at a fundamental core if that ever got out. Okay, let's see. We're going to use a sweep. Boom and boom. You put the, you know, the walls on top and then you put the path on the bottom in one of these sweepers. And you sweep it up and usually you have to change the scale. 
because uh, the universe never gives you the exact perfect size. You got to get the perfect size the computer says and go from there. All right, so now what I'm, I want to attempt to do here is rotate this. So um, how would I do that? One way I could do it, I think, is um, I could turn this into points, select the points, and then look at the points right here, perhaps rotate them 45. Yep. All right. That worked. That worked. Some days you just spend the entire eight hours trying to figure that right there out. You look at the computer, you go, now how would I, how would I do that? Other days it comes quite quickly. All right, let's see here. Well, if you just adjust the overall size of this thing like this, you can kind of get it to fit the scene here a little bit. Oh, it looks like it gets a little big right there. Okay, so now they do have this other little trick here you can do where you can scale this down like that, which, you know, okay, that can be pretty cool. A little bit of that. And then maybe we can make this a little bit bigger. All right. Mm, scale that up a little. And then maybe, oh, sorry, make that down a little. Okay. Boom. All right, now, if you were to current state this to an object like this, watch what happens. You're going to get a lot of points in there. Actually, no, we didn't get many points at all. To take that back, that was exactly the thing to do at that moment. A nice low poly mesh. Usually, this thing will be a brrrr, full of them. But uh, for whatever reason right now, it's looking pretty good. So I hit the hotkey D. Boom. The hotkey D again. Well, it's already in that mode, so I don't actually have to hit it again. Go way out there. Way out there, and then... What the... Oh, I was listening to a podcast, and, you know, I've heard this before, but there's a, there's eight cells, right? Something like that. One of the cells says, hey, guys. I'm going to be the head. And all the other ones are like... All right, he's the head. And that one, so they're all identical. And that one becomes the head. You know? Thank God. Thank God for that one. That's a real moment of like, you've got your mom and dad, you know? But that moment there where you, the, the little one of eight, that decides to be the head to become your brain. That's the one. The Neo of the eight. Sure, the other eight are important. Eating and all the other stuff, but I mean, come on, who isn't biased to the head? Anybody who thinks you would save your hand over your head, you could put, we got about enough space for a microwave size of you. What do you want to save? Oh, uh, I'll save my hands. I mean, maybe Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> I know he wouldn't do that. That would be funny. All of the people who are virtual though, who had saved feet and you know, hey, imagine the guy that saved his feet. Well, there were billions of us, so it happened to be, you know, there was just some people that couldn't live. I mean, the obvious, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop there. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. So let's just symmetry this right over. So we don't have to do that work. Boom. <laughs> imagine real life was like that. Oh, we got half the house done. Click the button. And it just mirrored over. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. In the metaverse. Meet me in the metaverse. The metaverse. All right. I'm going to go here and just delete that. I don't really know why. Right now I'm channeling this guitar pedal YouTuber. Just for a little bit. He does guitar pedals. If you've seen him on there, he makes guitar pedals and stuff. He's great. Imagine just having all the guitar pedals. There's a guy. He's got a YouTube channel. I'm trying to sound like him right now. Okay, here we go. Boom. And a boom and a boom. Now, what do you really do here? We got to merge this going up. What you do is you make another one going down. So we can go here. We go here. I'm going to go back here. Can I go? No, I'm just seeing if you paid attention to it. <laughs> okay, here we are. Pencil mode, then we're going down. <laughs> uh, okay. Boom. Mr. T, I know you're watching. I know you're out there. Post a little comment. 
Let's see. I killed that guy before, so we're going to have to make that again. Tell me what you really think. Laugh track. All right, Leo, let's see. Let me go here. Certainly, sir. <laughs> you want me to do the rest of the show talk to sound like this? Because I'll do it. I'll sound like the character that I say. I don't care. Silly. So, let's see here. I'm not going to keep doing it if you don't keep laughing, lost. So, every now and then, you got to give me a laugh. So, let's see. Going to do a sweep. A <laughs> little sweep here. Now, in a sweep, you want to make sure that the spline is on the bottom of the sweep. Put that up there. Ha 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 Hey, wait a minute. 45. I shot past the 45. There we go. Looking good. Excuse me. All right. So now let's current state this to an object. Boom. And lift it up. I'm going to lift you up. Now I'll do a little surgery. We'll take this guy here, current state to him an object, and delete him. Now I just want to delete this little hole right here. Well, it's going to be a hole. Now it's a hole. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I had to hit my uh, my good buddy up for some money for Christmas this year, and I told him, I really appreciate it. This is really sweet. Able to get the wife, the kids, even dog food. And I looked over at him and said, Chuck, can I borrow a little more? Because I'd like to get you something nice. Something real nice. To show my appreciation. That's one of my favorite parts. All Chevy Chase movies. Yeah, right there. Uh, you know, does anybody else want to watch all those Fletch movies again? Why not? I, don't, I think I only saw one, but I could go back now. Current connect objects and delete. Okay, so now here we go. Got this. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to take this and this and this. Right click. There's a right click. Bridge. Boom. Now, in truth, you can bridge a lot more than that at once. You could go like this and this and this and this. And I think even this and this. No, we've gone too far. Not <laughs> that. But this and this. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Ah, 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 yes. That, that we can do. Right click bridge. It'll just do all of that. See? Nice. And now, this, this, and this. We're going to bridge this and this. Right click bridge. Boom. We have a bridge. All right, now, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and make a triangle here. You really don't want to make triangles, but you can make them if you want to. I'll just use the polygon pen here. Boom. 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 Right. Let's go grab that. Um, <laughs> this guy here, this guy here, this guy here. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Right click. You guessed it. Bridge. There we are. Okay. Right, we got this thing here. Boom, boom. Okay, it's looking all right there. Da, 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 Now let me just check this little guy out here. <laughs> My eye kind of goes into the um the handle here. So what do we got? Let's do these with a couple of uh tubes. How the soul is forged. Bum 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 ba dum ba dum bum. Show the fur. This is the fur. 
Trying to get a laugh out of you. It's a little Game of Thrones reference. <laughs> hey, sure, we'd like to go on the show. Why not? Just promise us we get to um, fly in a dragon. Okay, boom. Not down to there. We'll bring that out to here. And then not down to there. Wow, they kicked out the lady over there in um, England, huh? I was watching that on Reddit, Public Freakouts. If you watch Reddit, Public Freakouts, Google that at night, you know, and you're looking for some entertainment, you'll see all the news that's coming tomorrow. It's kind of weird. But on, on the night before, it doesn't seem like it's going to be news. But it is. Because you wake up in the morning, and Good, Mor Good Morning America will be at, will have it on their show. So it's kind of like you're in the twilight zone. All right, here we go. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Got some fancy little footwork stuff right here. It looks pretty nice. But uh, let's see. Also got these little stitch guys here. I'm trying to think of a way to do that. Is it a total pain in the butt? Mm, looks like they kind of might fuse together right here. So. <laughs> let's just see what happens if I try this. Draw that. Keep away from that edge a little bit here. I'm going to go here. Here. Yeah. 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 And here. Yeah. Right there. Ah, keep away from the edge, right? Let's go all the way. Let's go like that. Perfect. <laughs> na na na. Na na na. Okay. Boom. Boom, 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 and a boom. Who put the boom at the pop shop? Now I want to get this guy out of here. Do I even have this guy? I don't even know. Let's just make another one. A cylinder of approximate size. Boom, 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 boom. You might recognize me from all my starring roles in Hollywood films and movies. Why I am the wolf. Okay, so let's just do this. Like a little bigger. What I'm doing here, folks, is making a surface I can project on. I do want that to be squished like that, I believe. I mean, what handle would really be squished like that, though? Wouldn't that suck? How about... I mean, I would think this would be perfect, but what do I know? Maybe this is more better in your hand. Katana blade looks like it's like this, so I guess this is the way to go. Now you see all these guys here, how they don't have that little squish that I just did. You can put a little FFD former right there. Bring that up. Make sure that this box, they call that a lattice. That's a fancy way to say a box. Subdivided box. The lattice. The lattice can go in here. Select everything. I mean, I don't really need it to be with all like that. So just they select the points here on this scale and whatever's inside the in the lattice there, the box is gonna get affected. That looks pretty good. Boom. Now yeah, back to the plan. Back to the master plan. Batman. All right. Back to the master plan. Batman. Nana, 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 nana. They never merged Ghostbusters and Batman yet, did they? Everybody's like, of course they did. How'd you miss that one? Really? Okay. Boom and boom. Whoa, hey, okay. Boom and boom. Now let's select all that. Move it back. Now what you do is you have this view here. It's hard to see, but there's a little gray line that goes around the one you click last. You hit spacebar, whatever, that's the movie that would play to whatever window. They don't all play at once. All right, so oh, now we're going to go here. It's sticking out, so I'm going to go project mesh. If it was in, it wouldn't work, so we got to move it out. Project. Uh, you want to be on our spline? Move, project. Click this one, say apply. Boom. Just like that. Slam. Bam. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Now let's take that, pull it out a little bit. 
what I'm going to do here is make an extruder. Like this. Boom, and a boom, and a boom. Hey, wait a minute. Why did I do that? That's weird. Oh, I don't want an extrude. Sweep. Let's see. <laughs> Thankful for the sunshine shining in the window. I'll have the curtain open, but it makes my face a crazy blue. All right. It drives crazy, you know who. Uh, let's see. Boom, and just copy and paste that. Once you got one there that looks good, you can just paste that and replace that with that and just delete that, and then you got the other one. Decent, 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 decent. Okay, so now what I'll do. Pay attention. Pay very close attention to this next part. <laughs> this is going to be on the test. Boom. Yeah, there's a test. You want a shot at winning the $15,000 prize? All right. All right. What? You didn't hear about the, the $15,000 prize? All right. All right. Just Google $15,000 prize right now. Told you. $15,000. You're going to win by tonight. Woo! Credit card bank information. Yeah, get handed over. Ha, not gonna need money where I'm going. It's gonna be carrying me around. There'll be no credit card. <laughs> cash. We'll just use cash to burn the fires. To be to stay warm. Bring us another Gaylord of hundreds. All right. Let's see. Current state this to an object, folks. That's what I'm trying to do in my brain. I really can't talk and work at the same time select children current state to object and delete boom so now they're back there like that now what i'm gonna do is just delete these just delete these just delete these oh you know something kind of cool let me turn this on and see if this works see this little butterfly up there boom now if i select that and that and that and that and hit delete let's just look over here and see if they delete over there too no yes i told you Work like a charm. We'll just shut that back off. <laughs> no, but if I were to move the points around, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'll use it in one second here. Sure, what I want to do now is select loop. Select loop. Boom. That and that. Now we're going to bridge that. Let's do it again. Select loop. Boom. Boom. Now where is it? Bridge. Come on, brain. Okay. Now you could just cut this in half. Well, let's just keep the variety that I put in there on each side. Select loop. That'd be kind of neat. Boom. Boom. Right click bridge. Read all about it. Select bridge. Where are we? 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 Select loop. Loop selection. The loop selector is for selecting loops and unselected loops only. If you need to select a loop or unselect a loop, please, loop, loop, please use the loop selector. Okay. Bridge. All right. Now, let's turn off this stuff for momentarily. Don't worry. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back just like Elvis. Just like Elvis. Select loop. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for this kind of a selector. Uh, I want to paint it though. Boom. Visible only. Nah. We want, we're going for broke. Boom. And boom. Boom. Here, I'm just going to, I don't even think I needed to do that, but cut. You know, here's what I could do. I'll just cut it right across the top. Always trying to think of ways to speed up the process, you see. Boom. Okay, now, so you want to make sure you don't have visible only on, though. That would be real bad because then it wouldn't cut the ones in the bottom. There you go. Now, pay very close attention. This is the part that's on the test. Boom, boom. I need you to wire $150 <laughs> to this metal wallet. 
Okay. That back on. Put this underneath the hypernerb. Call it a day. Whoa. We want to subdivide that just a little bit. Subdivision. Engage. That's an add. So you're adding a subdivision, you're adding more points, right? You don't want to use the round one, it'll make it round a little bit yeah, like that. Okay. Boom. There we go. Is that gonna look alright? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alrighty. Now take this guy and make two. If you do two, the hypernerve should stop working. But if you group them, it'll work again. Alright. Take that guy, move him down, rotate him around. Boom. 180. Then we'll use our guide here. Kind of get like a an idea for what we're talking about. All right, right there. Now we're going to take these two. You got the man right there. I'm going to go here and then go this cloner. Now. Where's the nice null? Oops, let me go ahead and put that underneath the nice little null there. Take that null, raise it up. Uh, what the heck was I even doing? Oh yeah, I'm right here, so we'll just put that on that. So this is as important where this little null is going. And then I'll zero this guy out underneath that null. Aha! There, and then boom! Turn this from grid to linear. Ha <laughs> ha! Negative! Ha <laughs> ha! Go in here, use the 10 zeros, 1000s places, and it changes how fast it's moving. So watch, I'm way over here. It moves painfully slow. It's moving though. Here, a little bit more. Here, a little bit more. And I'm just moving my cursor over. It's really cool. Boom. And there we go. Sweet, tighten it up. A little fine new. Boom. Right there. Sweet stuff. Okay. Now, how many of them do we want? We're going to need a couple of more. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Ty, what are you doing? Alrighty. Start to look pretty cool, right? We're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> See, like, say, like, if you have, like, these two right here. This is a little tangent. This is a volume builder. So let's take this guy. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, he's a Boolean. So let's, let's, let's finish off the job on this guy. I'm holding down the uh, option key and watch what happens when I add this connector. It puts it right down there on top of it, which is kind of cool. I'm holding down the option key and I'm going to add a remesher. Remesher is going to do its thing. Do, 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 do. It's thinking down there in the lower left corner. See that little purple bar? Getting there. Oof, boy, that looks a little funky, but. I'm just going to go with it. Select children. Well, let's save the scene in case I decide tomorrow that was a bad idea. Save incremental. Now this little doohickey's preserved. Right click. Blow it out of existence in a way. You know, you could always go back to that other scene. If you want. All right, let's see. <laughs> so you bring this up here, put that underneath the volume builder. Now the volume builders got to really get this number down in order for it to start producing some really good results here. So you just keep dividing two a couple of gazillion times. It starts to resemble the object more and more. What you dumped in there. Now it hates low poly objects, so that was probably a bad idea. The thing I might be able to do to sweeten this little deal up is to do this to it. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I might buy that for a dollar. And then what you can do is you can take a guy like this who's down here, like that, and add it to the mix. It kind of like blurs it all together. And then you can put a thing in here called a smoother, which does a pretty good job of blurring it together more. It just adds like this little connector right there. Like a show. Alrighty. 
Let's see. Seems as though this guy though might want to get a little bit edited right here. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so you can just blow away this side, mirrored over after. Kind of make your edits. Throw that selection, deselect that selection, boom, and then we're really getting somewhere. Hey. And you want to get that side back? You know it. Symmetry. Woo. I don't know why, but I like to put this like this one right here. Boom. And then you got to find the right one. There. All right. And then you can throw that back down in there. Save the scene there. Boom. Now, uh, whenever you do that, it screws the hierarchy up. So you got to go kind of double check on that. Turn it back on. See what this stuff does. Ooh, boy, I didn't like that, did it? Maybe because of the symmetry. Um, connect objects and delete. Think it likes that better. No. No, it does not. Hmm. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Tune in next week for Days of Our Lives. Days of Our Lives. Let's see, what can I do here real quick before I call it? This guy had a couple of cutouts, right? Boom. Group everything. Hide it all. You might as well just turn these off temporarily. What the heck? Now, if you go in here and you remember we had that, uh, was it this guy? Yeah. Whew. Only you can prevent forest fires. So let's see, we're going to go here and here and here. Now, if I look in here and hide this, it's got like these guys here, right? So let's just turn this on. On x-ray. It'll be okay. Now, a couple of little subdivisions right here. Mesh, cut, loop path, cut tool. Go zoom tight. Go zoom tight. Boom. You know, boom. We'll put a little bit over this way here like that. I'm going to do that one. That one, and what the heck? I can't even see it, really. The whole dang thing gets smaller right there. Really? Oh, I'm going to make it go out. Okay. So let's see. So I'm going to go into this polygon tool here. I'm going to hit select loop. Select loop. Select loop. Where are you? Oh my God. I can't joke around. Loop selection. This, where is he now? Boy, you can hardly see. There it is. And then what? This whole entire thing here? Wow, 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 wow. Is it the whole thing? No, 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 it's not the whole thing at all. Back it up to, whoop, we wanted that one. Redo. Well, what the heck, let's do this. Shift on that. Hit the hockey D. Hockey S if you want to see it bigger. Hit the hockey D. B, 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 B. Okay. Oh, what the devil? It's not around that side? <laughs> Get your old knife tool out. Tinker's got this thing right here, though. So let me see. Maybe if I just select this, guys. Right here. I would only... Effect selected. And I'll go... Line cut. This below me, of course. Boom. Uh, no way that I hit that perfect. But... Maybe I did. You can always tell because you click this, you can only ever hit one point. And there's just one there. We're in luck. How about this one? Oh, good. That will allow us kids to delete this entire side. Goodbye. Ooh. This entire side. <laughs> just take this point right here. Slide it over. Take all these points, actually. Good of you, you, no, and come with me. Now I'll turn this uh, into a symmetry. 
Start up there like that. Get this closer. It'll diffuse. See, there's a little fuser here. Put it to point one. Boom. Now it's on both sides. Okay, what else we see here? Oh, wow. Let's see. It is a little bit bigger there, isn't it? Let's see. Maybe these just get smaller. Let's take a look at this thing. There is such a thing as a normal scale. I don't know if this will work in this situation, but let's check it out. Select loop. Boom, 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 boom. Now watch this. Normal scale. All right, let's see if this works. Normals. Where's normal scale? Move. Normal scale. Scaled from within. It's a different kind of scaling. Scaled from within. All right, it's looking sharp. Looking sharp. Now, remember I told you I'd show you that cool tool in Cinema 4D that's this little thing up here? Watch this. Click this guy. Oh, it's a symmetry tool. Hang on, it doesn't really work if you're in symmetry. You're sort of anti symmetry. I don't really like that. Boom. So now I got this. I'll say, watch. Do, 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 do. I move this. Do, 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 do. It does it symmetrically. Kind of cool. All right, so say you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, how's that going to look good in a render? Because it has all these straight edges on the side. I'm glad you asked. Because I'm wondering that too. And if you could put in the text, if you could post in the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you could walk me through step-by-step step in the comments for the next 32 minutes while I'm working on this sword, I'd really appreciate it because I'm starting to feel like Roger Rabbit. All right. Going up here, I'm going to add, let me see what happens if I bevel this first. I'm going to try to bevel this. I think, see what that does. So you put a bevel in there, you go like that. You know, it looks pretty decent. And what I was also wondering is what happens if I were to subdivide that when I did that. You know, that's like pretty much exactly what I was hoping. That looks good. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I can't stand looking at these cylinders without them having a fillet. And what happened to this guy? He got swallowed. Come on. Don't be afraid. There you are. Well come on down. Come on down. Don't be afraid. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Well, I think that that's what I'm going to pause at for today. I've got an appointment that I've got to prepare for. So thank you very much. And um, if you have any questions on this, I'll be taking this back up uh, perhaps Monday or sometime coming up next. Maybe I'll do this afternoon. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. But um, yeah, let me know if you have any comments down below. And I was thinking maybe you can um, 3D model one of the other swords on this throne and we can put up all, all the swords together. And then maybe, wow, that doesn't sound too good. But we could have like a throne um, of all the different people who are watching the show. Or maybe it'll be this single sword to rule them all. Either way, hope to see you again soon. Take care. Have a great day. Fun Friday. All that good jazz. Thank you very much for the, uh, the gift. You know who you are.